All right, there's an issue going on here. It's pertaining to the homeboy Fousey. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was a big, big fan of Fousey too when he was uploading his vlogs daily. I don't know how dumb that is to say now and admit it, but if we're gonna be real and honest, I'm gonna be real and honest too. I actually really liked Fousey Tubes vlogs. That's when he had um forgot his name. I was watching a ton of his vlogs. Uh, Roman Atwood. Jesus. Wow, I couldn't really think of that. All these guys, right? Like, uh, you're, uh, Casey Neistat, Faze Rug, Faze Rain. The Faze guys are vlogging too. All these vlogs. I oh, man, I just really loved it. Logan Paul too. I really like Logan Paul's vlogs until that infamous day everyone knows about it everyone's not gonna stop talking about it to the end of time it is what it is but uh, i just i just can't i just can't get my head around this guy fuzi is is he's like i don't know how to explain he's like a child that never learned how to cope with not being able to get his ice cream cone at the end of the baseball game if you know what i'm trying to say say hey ya you already know what it is but uh, what is this g7 mama cope he's got going on here and he goes please delete the video with keem to avoid more drama and exposing you in a bad way you should be acting so calm happy and ready for the new endeavor g7 mama his mama asked him to delete the youtube video with keen it's gone it's gone what the f is g7 anyways is that like hustlers university with andrew tate is that like the i can make you famous stuff that jake paul was trying to sell seven years ago how to be a youtuber or whatever he was trying to do the only person i'd actually trust in this platform to give me information like that and i'd pay for his program would probably be mr beast himself but that motherfucker getting sued and he's still making content it goes to show how much money this man has and he doesn't care if he loses it all he's a genuine guy we should all praise him now Fuzi, on the other hand we're getting back to you bro ain't no way this man should be allowed back on this fight bro i'm gonna be honest bro you need to go get and i'm not talking about like go get help get better come back it seems like every single if this is real first every single time he comes back a small little hitch in the road a little bump happens we saw have i'm not gonna find the clip i don't care about finding a clip he's singing a drake song or something and he says the n-word oh my god he's singing a song he accidentally said the n-word i can't tell you not really worth crying over it's a song it's not the first time someone said it on the internet internet it's not the last time someone's gonna say it on the internet i guarantee you that a lot of fucking racists out there i'm gonna be real with you but like i don't see like that <laughs> Dude, literally, within seconds of saying the word, made it an apology video on stream within seconds. Fousey's on kick now, which is a little... <laughs> it looks so stupid to me, bro. I'm gonna be real. I don't... <laughs> what is this? What? But in other news, Charlie Penguin Z on YouTube, he's leaving Twitch, and he's, like, the only person I watch on Twitch. I'm gonna be real, like... Sometimes I don't like waiting for the moist meter on YouTube. I just go ahead and just watch the live stream all the way through the games he's currently playing. Like, I watched him play the God of War thing. That was super cool. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. He only played halfway through the game, I think. But he said, yeah, it's just about normal Assassin's Creed. Feels like Assassin's Creed. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just weird. Fusi, I really hope you get help. Charlie. Good luck to you, bro. Also, this video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Guys, use code Slightly to get $20 off all your SeatGeek purchases. There's concerts you want to go to. You know where to go to. I tried to rhyme there. That didn't work. But you guys already noticed. I'll see you later. I'm out of here.